All right, boys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can beat Riku super easy in two turns. And I'm going to show you a different team that you can beat him with. Uh, and two turns if you use a friend, but like by yourself, it'll take like a couple of turns, but it's still super easy. Um, I know he can be like a little overwhelming maybe for some people because um, he's new. So what we're going to do actually, we're just, I'm, I'm going to make this as like, straightforward as possible. Uh, I'm going to run Red Arthur here, okay? All right, because he gives us three buffs, okay? And that's all we want. All right, we get... Um, you get three buffs from this guy. Hopefully, two, well, we should get two buffs from this guy unless we top deck another Albedo card, which would be unfortunate, sort of. And then uh, we have Red Gold Theater to rank her up, which we don't need, but I like seeing it, okay? And then my Albedo's on HP defense. My card set is just stats, okay? In case you're wondering. And I'm running attack food. Um, but you'll see. Um, th this this will take two turns because the way his damage reduction works, on turn one, he has this insane damage reduction. You can only do one damage, okay? We've seen this in a bunch of bosses, whatever. But the thing is, on his turn, it goes away. Oh, guys. Okay. Well... Well, I was gonna go for a rank three counter, but I'll, I'll I'll do this and then I'll just show you both phases with this. Um, now you'll see in a sec. Oh, 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 okay, I'll just show you the video, I guess, in, instead because I already recorded this, but I like messed up. I, I, dude, I'm, my head is everywhere right now, so like I was just misspeaking like the entire time. But yeah, there you go. Boom. Okay, actually, the, the oh, she didn't crit, I guess. The counter does the same damage as the rank one, so wouldn't really worry. Again, the rank one is enough. If she if she crits, she one shots one shots him. Um, and in the second phase, because he takes more damage, okay, I'm gonna do a rank one with her, all right? I'm gonna do a rank one attack card to show you guys, okay? I'm just gonna do a rank one attack card, uh, and then I guess I'm gonna what thing, and I'm gonna hope it doesn't kill him, so I can actually just show you guys. Okay, boom. The rank, you see how much damage you do? The second phase, it just dies, okay? I don't think I have to help you guys with this one, okay? If I use a rank two and a rank one, and rank one would've killed. If I use a rank two stance, it would've killed him. Uh, even through his, like, uh, like, he would just one-shot him, so he can't, like, heal the damage back up, right? Tr trust me on this one. I could, if you guys want me to, I can, I really want me to, I can show you guys, okay? All right, as you can see, this is my other video that I recorded, but I was just all the places, like, I'm just gonna re-record it. Um, and this is a rank three attack, right? But obviously, it just one-shots, okay? It, it doesn't matter. Like, anything you use on this, will, he will die, okay? He will literally just die. Again, like, even, like, LS can ultimate, type disadvantage, right? It will just one-shot him, okay? And he dies to anything in phase two, okay? The problem that the only issue is getting phase one down quick, so you don't waste your time doing it, okay? So back to Grand Cross. Let me actually do this. There you go. Um, I'm going to go in again. I'm going to make the human team. Now, the best way to do it with a human team is obviously with a friend, okay? If you can find a friend, just invite people, and if they just have a human team, it's probably good enough. Uh, what you want, really, is at least one person to have a stance removal. So you want to have Jenna, which I actually don't have a Holy Relic, so... Um, I will show you Jenna at like no uh, efficiency here, but she has a rank one stance removal. Actually, I do have a relic now, um, and uh, so that's even that's even better. But if you don't have a relic, it actually is fine, I think. But you do need to remove the stance because the stance is a, a heavy amount of damage reduction. And I'm just gonna run these two, okay? I'm just gonna run Roxy and this guy, and I'm gonna run Death Pierce backline, okay? And then that works. Uh, don't really care about my links. I'm gonna look at my links in a second. If they're horrible, I guess I'll fix them. But uh, no, they're fine. Boom. There you go. I'm not gonna put gear on her. Why? She's not gonna do much damage anyway. Okay, just for the viewers, you guys, you guys love her, so I will actually give her the holy relic. I give a we'll, we'll, uh, holy relic talk. I'm telling you guys, my head is everywhere. Okay, I even forgot that I made the holy relic. Um, but there, I could use it. I could just use AI of like someone. Um, what? What's this, guys? Okay, so a lot of people run like these types of teams. By the way, don't. Okay, I know you guys love your demons, but like, let's relax. Okay. Um, but like, uh, can we find a human team? Yeah, like this is fine, right? Like obviously this is like really good because you have the end to rank up uh, everything. You have this uh, then of four Liz that gives the attack boost for first three turns. You can do all this, right? But I feel like that's a bit excessive. So I'm gonna tr try, well, I won't solo it, but I'll show you the solo version. But if you have any friends that you can play with, or even just on right random people, then that's fine. I just don't. I just want to. I just want to bother with it right now. Okay, so I'll show you guys with just one person that you can clear this. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, there's no, there's no difficulty to this. Okay, um, I don't like that they restrict us with how many runs uh, you can do a day, because I feel there's no point, right? Um, just let us do three runs. They give us rewards, and if you want to do more, you can do more, right? Because uh, I don't want to have to wait for other people's invites. I just want to do the fight. You know, maybe I really like the fight. So again, turn one can't really do much. Uh, so we're just gonna be using cards. Uh, I'm just gonna like waste these, and I'm gonna I'm gonna merge the Jenna cards, bro. Why not? Let's let's merge the Jenna cards. But yeah, during turn one, you can't do, like uh, the human team can't do much. Um, 
And the the um, the thing about Jenna, why is she's good for this, and there's other humans that can cancel stances because hers is the only one that's a rank one. Like this is this cancel stance on rank one already. That's why you want to like you know run 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 her. And I'll see you don't want her to die maybe, but uh, I think it's fine. There you go. So now he dodges right, which is not good. So what we'll do is do this. Although I believe this can will cancel stance anyway, but I'll 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 I'll, I'll play it safe. Uh, and now she's useless, okay? When well, she's given us the attack rate stats, but that's, that's all we like. We don't really need much more. Now we can just attack him, okay? Now, as so we do this, she removes the stance, okay? And now we can do like pretty much full damage and he dies, okay? And you can do this with a friend and it's easier, but it's fine this way too. And in phase two, again, you know the drill, you just one shot him. Um, if you don't have Jenna's Holy Relic, you can still do it, by the way. I was hoping I actually don't have it, but uh, I forgot. Um, who was it? Uh, there's one relic I don't have right now. But yeah, okay, cool. So he does this thing where if you don't if you don't one shot him completely, he'll uh, he'll back up. Um, so unfortunately, we have to we have to waste one more turn attacking him. His attacks in this phase are really cool, by the way. You'll never see them because he usually will just one shot him. But uh, I trust the Roxy too much, I guess. Uh, but you'll see. I'll, I'll just do a rank two of Eskinor. You'll you'll see how he one shots. Oh, please kill my Jenna. Oh, come on now. Yeah, his cards are so cool. I, I wish they made him a unit. You no, know? he actually is so cool. Um, but yeah, boom. There you go. He's dead. And then, uh, happy ending. There you go. Boom. Right. So this is a team you can use also. Again, with a friend, even easier. Um, but I, I, I just, I like doing things by myself. Okay. But that, that, that's pretty much a thing. Um, Death Priest backline, everyone should have on global. They gave him out for free. Um, oh, I guess if you're an old player, then you might not have him. But, um, other teams you could run. It, obviously, if you don't have, like, uh, where is it? Would it be here? No, it wouldn't. Would it show me the team for this? Oh, okay, there you go. Um, so other, other units you could run, right? If you don't have Ella Eskinor, um, you could probably try it with Blue Mono. Uh, where is she? Blue Mono. Let me uh, let me do this. I think I know the units more by color than by race. Um, not this Blue Mono. The actual, like, whatever she's called. This one, okay? Because she does more damage in PV and everything. Um... And she just cooks, okay? From re for each old orb she has, she, uh, he has, he does, she does more damage. She's good for this. Uh, she has remove buff as well. So you can remove the dodge buff without having to attacking, so you don't waste damage. And um, other units you could use. Honestly, like, you can run um, an unknown team, which is what I did at the, the first day when I didn't really know what to do. I just ran Freyr, because this rank 2 stance cancels, right? So I just gave him this, I just ran this with him, and then it, it worked out. You can also run Ghislaine, because she cancels stances on uh, rank 1, right? So you can run uh, you can run her as well, right? She has the same uh, rank 1 stance cancel. So that's good too. But for the most part, you just want to have someone that can cancel stances, and then just like some sort of good damage on your team, and then you're fine. Right, uh, event isn't anything like super crazy tricky or something, but it, it works, okay? And again, if you have Albedo, you literally just, like, you click stance turn one, right? Waste some bad cards, and then he kills himself, and then ne the next turn, you're on phase two, and you just use any, like, Albedo cards or collab character cards, and you kill him, okay? But Albedo, obviously, is, is insane for this. She just literally just trivializes it. But, there you go. Any team can kind of just roll him. Uh, you want to make sure you have stance cancel, though. The stance does reduce the damage he takes by, like, infinite. So, make sure you keep that in mind. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope I kept it short enough. Yeah, okay, nice. There you go. Good job.